Hi children, today we are going to do word problems. Word problems in what? In capacity. I am sure you are going to enjoy. We will read the problem and we will find out is it addition or subtraction and then work out the problem. So let's enjoy working out word problems in capacity. Let's look at our first word problem. Now, we will read together and find out together. Alright? Tim poured, Tim is a little boy, he poured 37 liters of oil into a drum. Big drum is there. 37 liters of oil is poured into the drum. He poured 41 liters of oil into the same drum and he filled it. So, here is a drum. Tim poured 37 liters of oil into the drum. Then again he poured 41 liters of oil into the same drum to make it full. Yes. What is the question asked children? What is the total capacity of the drum? What is the total What is the? When you say what is the total? When you get the word total, you know you have to add. Okay. Now, the quantity. What is the quantity of oil poured into the drum. What is the quantity? 37 liters of oil. So, we write down here 37 liters. We will write it. That is the first quantity Tim poured into the drum. Next, he poured 41 liters of oil. So, what is the amount? Yeah, the quantity of oil poured for the second time into the same drum 41 liters. Now, let us add and find total capacity of the drum. How much has it Held. Okay, fine. We have 37 plus 41. What is 7 plus 1? 7 plus 1 is 8. 7 and 1, 8. Good. 3 plus 4. 3 after 3, 4. 5, 6, 7. 3 plus 4 makes 7. So, what is the total capacity of the drum? The capacity of the drum is 78 liters. What is the total capacity of the drum? 78 liters of oil. Your answer is the total capacity of the drum equal to 78 liters of oil. Are you happy? So, the sum you can make out whether it is an addition or subtraction. Good. Let us look at another word problem. Read together. Shall we? Good. A petrol tank of a car. Your dad has a car? Yes. The petrol tank, the tank of a car had 15 liters of petrol. So, already in the car, there is 15 liters of petrol. To fill the tank, it needed 10 more liters. So, they are going to fill up the tank. I think dad is taking the family for a trip. And he says, oh, I have 15 liters of petrol in the tank already. But to fill it up, I need 10 more liters to fill it up. Probably he's going on a long journey. So first he has 15 already. And he says, oh, I think I'll take 10 more to fill it up. So he does that. Now the question is, what is the capacity of the petrol tank? How much of, how much of petrol does it, can it hold? That's the capacity amount, the quantity. Okay, the capacity of the tank to hold so much of oil. Fine. We'll have to find out that. What is the capacity of here you said so much is there, then he has, he is going to collect some more. So what is the kind of problem? It's addition. Now, the quantity of oil petrol already in the cart in the tank is 15 liters. Then, to fill the tank, the quantity needed to fill the tank equal to 10 liters. Alright? So, 20, 15 plus 10. So, he has already 15 in the car. He needs 10 more liters. So, 15 liters plus 10 liters. Shall we add together? Okay. 5 plus 0 gives you 
five itself good one plus one is equal to two so what is the capacity of the petrol tank 25 liters good so what is the capacity of the petrol tank the answer is the capacity of the petrol tank is 25 liters the capacity of the petrol tank equal to 25 liters of petrol did you enjoy working the word problem let's look at another good let's read together a shopkeeper had 858 liters of kerosene big huge drum and he has the shopkeeper has 858 liters of kerosene oil he sold he sold 537 liters of kerosene oil he sold now the question how much kerosene is left in the shop in that drum how much is left good so so much is there so much sold out he wants to know what is remaining so certainly that's a subtraction problem so first what shall we write the quantity of kerosene oil in the drum or quantity of kerosene oil a shopkeeper has is 858 liters so we write that down first next he has 858 liters now he sold that means sell amount or the quantity of kerosene oil is sold out 537 minus 537 that is the oil that is the quantity of oil that he sells 537 now we have to find how much left in the shop let's do the subtraction together you have 8 minus 7 8 take away 7 gives you 1 so we 8 minus 7 gives you 1 so we write down 1 over here 5 minus 3 5 take away 3 1 2 3 gives you 2 5 take away 3 gives you 2 next 8 minus 5 8 minus 5 from 5 let's count up to 8 5 after 5 6 7 8 so 8 minus 5 is 3 so we write 3 here so the kerosene oil the quantity of kerosene oil left in the shop is 321 liters that's your answer 321 the kerosene left in the shop equal to 321 liters did you enjoy let's look at another word problem let us read together there is a drum over here capacity means how much it can hold the capacity of your drum is 33 liters huh? so if there is a, a drum the capacity of a drum is it can hold any or anything for 33 liters and the capacity of another drum so one drum can hold 33 so another drum 22 liters so there is a big drum and a small drum the big one can hold 33 liters the small one can hold 22 liters now your question is what is the difference between the capacity of two drums one is 33 one is 22 what is the difference when you say difference it is a subtraction problem shall we work out the sum yes the capacity of the first drum equal to 33 liters we write it over here next minus the capacity of another drum minus 22 liters now we'll find the difference shall we 3 minus 2 gives you 1 3 take away 2 gives you 1 again 3 take away 2 gives you 1 so your answer is the capacity the difference in capacity between the two drum equal to 11 liters your answer is 
difference between the capacity of two drums, the big drum and the small drum equal to 11 liters. One can hold 33, another can hold 22 and the difference is 11 liters. Did you enjoy? Good.